Hey guys, and welcome to episode 32 of PG Mining 10's Let's Play. So, this episode, we are going to go ahead and continue with the bees. So, last episode, I did finish off saying that I was going to make this bee elizer, and I did say that I did need a centrifuge extractor. So, it did finish. Um, I did get it enough power, and all the items were ready, so it gave it to me. So, I now have a bee elizer. Alright, so now that we have our bee elizer, we need to go ahead and get what is called, let's see, what is it called? We need honey or honeydew as our pacifier. So basically we gotta um, give it something to make it work is basically what that means. Alright, so we're, need, we're going to need to go ahead and grab our honeycombs. And we need a sturdy machine as well as some glass. Let's see, where do we have glass? There we go. I think we need two pieces of glass and six pieces of either bronze or copper. I'm going to go with bronze for now. And if I'm wrong, we can go back. All right. So, whoa, that's not what I want. All right, so now we have our philosopher's stone out. And let's just line this along the side. And sturdy machine in the center, as usual. And our glass on the top and bottom. And we got a carpenter, which means I was incorrect. Let's go ahead and make sure I even have that somewhat right. So it is called a centrifuge. All right, centrifuge. All right, so it is copper. So recipe is right. I just have a few misplaced items. Um, that brass specifically, or bronze, my bad. All right, so we need our... Why did I split that? I don't know. All right, so glass on top and bottom, and sturdy machine in the middle, and now we have a centrifuge. And I let something in my house. That sounds great. Nope, nothing came in. Sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and just plop you down, and centrifuge right here. No matching recipe is found. All right, so let's go ahead and place a honeycomb in here. As you can see, this little progress bar has initiated. Don't know why I said initiated, but anyways... Let's go ahead and figure out where we can um, find out about these things while that is working. So there's only two things to know. Also, um, you can change all this, and if you click private, I believe no pipes will connect to this. So say you have pipes all over the place, um, you can click private and the pipes won't connect to this, and you'll no longer have any issues. So we have a 90% chance of getting what we want. and we have a 100% chance of beeswax, and it just so happens that we missed the chance of getting our honeydew, or honey, which was kind of misfortunate. But let's go ahead and check on our... Whoa, we got some Thomcraft stuff out here. Sweet. Alright, let's go ahead and check on our queen bee. Now, hopefully, um, she has died. Yes, indeed she has. So we got a Meadows drone, and... Or we got two Meadows drones, and one Meadows princess. So basically, when your queen dies, you're going to get more bees than you had to start with. So I don't want to know, or I do want to know, what these bees are so I can breed and possibly get some traits that I'd want. So I kind of want a longer lifespan on these bees. Now, why is that? Because she will get more work done, and I'll get more honeycombs and such. All right, so let's go on over here and see if we got some honey. Yes, we got some honey drops and some more beeswax. So, honey drops and beeswax. Sweet. Alright, so now let's open up our beelizer and put a honey drop up here. Alright, so now the thing is happy. So now we can just take our Meadows drone. Actually, let's go ahead and take our Meadows princess and put her in here. So, Apis Floria. Hmm, I have no clue what that is, to be quite honest. But, we have a species, Meadows, and the... Um, I believe red is active trait, or not active traits, but, um, what is it? I don't know. It means that it will be passed on, and it is active in the current thing. I don't know. Alright, but anyways. Oh, recessive and passive, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's totally what I meant. I was not thinking there for a second. Where did the bee go? There it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and put it back in our one, and we have lifespan of shorter, slowest speed, flowers, and fertility is two times, area nine by three by nine. Alright, so that is our princess. 
So now let's go ahead and place in our Meadows drone. Oh, that doesn't go there. All right, so let's put our honey drop in and put him in here. So Meadows, shorter, slowest flowers, everything is pretty much the same. So that's not cool. But let's go ahead and see if we got some more. Nope, so we're just going to have to go ahead and put these bees in and hope that we get um, something random that is better than what we currently have since we no longer have the capability of reading our last bee. That's okay. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put our... Whoa, not the bee Elizer. Let's go ahead and breed these two bees. So Princess on top as usual and Meadows Drone that is unknown on the bottom. And they are currently breeding into a queen. Not sure how that works, but... So now we have our Meadows Queen. And as you can see, it already knows what it is. So slowest worker, shorter life. Um, the blah, blah, blah. Whatever T stands for is... Um, what is T? Oh, temperature. Duh. Temperature normal and 40% is high, I guess. How is that high? Oh, that's humidity. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, whoa, that just dropped by a lot. But anyways, that's basically how the Beelizer works. You do have to put in honey or a honey drop for it to function. So now we are going to go ahead and automate our peat farm. So you're wondering how I'm going to do this. Well, currently we are out of our um, bog earth. but And here's our byproduct. So byproduct is dirt, but we need sand and dirt to create some of our um, bog earth. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. And by the way, I got a bunch of water cells. That way you guys didn't have to wait and see that on screen. Let's go ahead and get rid of our engines that are in our current inventory. And let's go ahead and grab some of this wonderful stuff. So four, let's go ahead and put some of that crap in there. As well as... What else can we put in here? An egg. There we go. So now we have... We need some more sand, don't we? There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and use C and put our water cells in the middle. And let's go ahead and do it like this. And dang it, I did it wrong again. Hopefully it won't take me an hour to figure it out this time. Last time it took me forever. All right, there we go. So we got two stacks of that. So let's see what else we can get. Pretty sure I'm doing this wrong again. And... Yay, I did it right this time. Alright, so we saved one water cell. And water cells are just 410 in like a diamond shape. In case you guys did not know that. So let's go ahead and chunk that into our peat box. So one... Oh no. It'd be funny if it started using the destruction catalyst and destroyed all my stuff. Yeah, not really. But anyways, it does keep the water thawed out, so keep in mind you can use this in a winter biome. Your water will not freeze, or I believe it won't. Let's go ahead and watch and see. Pretty sure it should fix this. This should get replaced with our peat. Or not peat, but the bog earth. But anyways, let's go on over here, and I'm going to make some more basic logistics pipes. So let's see, basic logistics pipes. These things are always fun to make, aren't they? Whoa, I don't know why we paused, but I guess it was a, a backup, and that was intended, guys. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and make a few of those, because we need two golden gears. So let's get some iron. So we need eight iron. And now let's go ahead and let's see. I didn't grab any gold, but that is okay for the moment. There we go. Now let's go ahead and grab that gold that we need. Eight gold. Whoa, about transmuted that. Good thing it doesn't transmute. And gear in the middle. Oh, no. We need to go up to iron first. There we go. All right, so it is two golden, but we need some diamond transport pipes, which I'm hoping we have. Erm. Um, yes, okay, thank Lord. Thank the Lord. All right, so... Now what else do we need? We need some glass and two redstone torches, which we definitely have a plenty of. We just need our glass. So let's go ahead and pull out four glass. 
and glass in the corner. Oh, glass in the corners. Gears in the center left and right. And two redstone torches, top and bottom. And a diamond transport pipe in the center. And now you have your basic logistics pipes. So now what we are going to be making is called a supplier logistics pipe. So let's see, supplier. Not the builder supplier. Um, I honestly don't know what that one does completely, but I know what these guys do. So we just need some lapis on these basic logistics pipes. So let's go grab that lapis. We only have four. Hmm. That's not good, and lapis is kind of expensive. Not kind of, it definitely is expensive. Alright, so let's go ahead and make sure we don't destroy our lapis, because that's all we have. Now we have eight lapis, so let's see. It's two for each one, so we're going to need 16 to do the amount that we have currently. So 20 sounds like a good number to keep on us. You can go ahead and just make some of that lapis, guys. Just go ahead and keep working. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our basic logistics pipes in the center. Let's see. There we go. Now we have our supplier logistics pipe. So let's go ahead and chunk you in there. And diamonds, you can go in there. Now as you can see, I did lose a Klein star, so I had to use 11 diamonds or 10 to make another one of those. Oh god, werewolf. Um, yep, I'm just going to run away and wait for day. Because um, don't want to deal with that guy. Please tell me that's not another werewolf. Alright, werewolves aren't coming after me. Good. So our supplier logistics pipes is going to have to go down under and next to our... Is that another? No, okay, good. Yeah, I was worried that was another werewolf, because I would have been not dead, but rather annoyed. Oh, God. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of all these guys, and then I can begin what I'm doing. So maybe we'll let's place down some torches around here. Maybe guys won't spawn as much. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm hopeful. Oh, crap. Alright. So here we go. So we're going to be transporting our peat out of here. So, let's see. We're going to need some wooden pipes, but maybe I'm going to use a new pipe. Let's see. It's a pipe with, like, let's see, where is it? Is it this distribution? No, that's not it. Waterproof redstone. I bet. What the crap is that? Alright, let's just go ahead and stick to what we know. Let's go ahead and grab some more of those pipes and probably deal with the werewolf guy. Nope, we're good. Alright, so pipes are in here. And let's grab some more of our wooden transport pipes. We only need one. Our inventory seems to be filling up once more, so let's go ahead and sort this crap out. So, we don't need these pipes anymore but we do need a redstone engine so let's go ahead and take one of you and let's go ahead and put up our zombie brain oh and by the way I transmuted some chicken I was tired of running out of food and I'm sure you guys were getting angry with me why can't I get out there we go alright so that is working indeed it is but here's what we need to do here alright so let's put our redstone engine here and orientate him into this pipe. So let's see, can I reach you? Let's see. Good thing we can see through this pipe. There we go. Alright, so that guy is working properly. Oh no. Alright, so right here I'm going to put a redstone torch. And boom. I'm hoping this will work with teleport pipes. Not 100% sure, but it most likely will. And we're going to teleport this to... Um, let's say 100, and now let's go on down here, and some of that peat might be spat out, but that is fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab another item teleport pipe, and let's see, let's grab some stone, because we might need it, and we're going to have to deal with Mr. Werewolf now. Oh, maybe he despawned. Yep, I'm rather hopeful. Oh, God. Why? Okay, seriously, why would you hide back there? You knew I was going back there. You just heard me talking about it. And you decide that you're just going to wait and go, Hey, PG, um, you're going to die today. I mean, how do you... 
seriously, how are you even hitting me? You're like, I don't even know. These things are just so overpowered, it's not even funny. Makes me just want to peaceful when I see these things. Alright, come on, you can do it. It takes forever to kill him. And all I get is a iron shovel. Seriously. Alright, anyways, this is where our supplier logistics pipes come in. So, boom. And we're going to... Whoa, there. Let's go ahead and right-click, and we're going to tell it that, hey, I want this thing to be always stocked with one piece of peat. Now, I'm hoping that these pipes will work properly. I haven't actually tested them, uh, tested them out in this version of Minecraft. But, hopefully it will work properly. Also, I've never actually used teleport pipes to do what I'm doing here. So, not sure if that'll work either, but... I am faithful in myself. Alrighty, and now let's place our peat in here. Whoa, not 44. Uh-uh. Yeah, it would be like, hey, um... Can't do that. Don't know what you're doing. Alright. But we do need to set this to partial requests. Alright. Partial requests really shouldn't matter right now because we are only telling it, hey, I want one peat at a time. But if we were telling it to do, say, 50 peat at a time, that would definitely matter because it would wait until it got 50 peat. Partial request, partial request. Yes, yes, and yes. Sweet. So this one, oh no. I always do that. Alright, so we have zero peat in that first engine at the moment. So I did set the engine over here to teleport at, I believe it was one. Let's see, what is it? No, it's at 100. And our peat is all just sitting on the ground here. That is not good. Oh, crap. Alright, I always get the bad stick here. I get attacked by zombies because I don't want to waste the time to sleep on this. Ep Seriously, a ghost? I've only seen two on this uh, map. And of course it would be now. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep that 45 peat in our inventory at the moment. And sorry about that, I just about coughed. Alright, so what else do we need here? Alright, so we have our teleport pipes set up. But we're going to need a... what is it? Oh, I know what it is. We're going to need a provider pipe in between these two. So let's go ahead and remove these two pipes, because I don't want it to be like randomly pulling out crap. And let's go ahead and grab a provider pipe. Now, I'm pretty sure this is how these pipes work. Never done it to teleport across, and I've never actually used supplier pipes. So this is kind of new to me and you, unless you're used to these. In which, please help. Alright, so let's go on over here. And just cross your fingers and hope this works. Alright, so now we can plop down our wooden pipe and... Let's see, do we have what we need out? Yes, we do. So we should be able to do this fast enough that it doesn't draw out our... Man, and you would come out here and ruin my day, wouldn't you? Because I was about to get this working just fine, and then no. You've got to come along and ruin my day. Well, used to those would connect, but they don't anymore. Sweet. 100 and cannot receive. So now everything should be... Oh, no. See, everything's popping out because I don't have it actually hooked up to the other one. So the other one needs to be set at 100 frequency as well as able to receive so hopefully mr. werewolf didn't like have some werewolf pups over here whoa why is it just spitting out our um stuff I don't know but anyways if I do here you can see that is red currently so now let's go true and hopefully this will turn green meaning that it is connected across the way which of course it will not because it doesn't like me. Are you kidding me? It's not going to do that. So we're going to have to go underground all the way over to our other place. Crap. Alright, Destruction Catalyst, hello. Yeah, I don't want to do it the long way. Why can't I just destroy? Can I uncharge this thing? 
Alright, this is not working. Why? Alright, I don't know, but that is not connecting properly. So, we're going to have to do it the hard way, and we're just going to have to transport our stuff over. Actually, you know what? No, we are not. What we can do is just teleport it over into a chest, and then use a provider pipe to provide from that chest. So, while that zombie is going to try and eat my face, I'm going to slap him in his face. And hopefully we have a chest, but we do not. That's not good, but we can grab our provider pipe while we're here. Die, birdie. Yes, I know that's a duck. Alright, so anything that we can drop... Um, did that say danger heart? No, okay. Skyrim. Alright, so here we go, and ba or Ash can go in here as well. We'll be able to use that later, but I will not explain for what at the moment. Let's just go ahead and chunk some tools into that chest, I don't know. Alright, and we're at the 21 minute mark, so as soon as I get our provider pipe... Let's see, what else do I need? Oh, I needed a chest. So let's go ahead and pull it out. And let's go grab that provider pipe, and we're going to need to hurry up with this, because we are at 21 minutes, as I just said. So boom and boom, and we're going to be teleporting this stuff out into the chest. So let's go ahead and set you to 100 and not receiving. And let's go ahead and run our way way out of here. Come on, I've got to hurry up. I don't want to end this over 25 minutes, because then you guys will fall asleep. Alrighty, so there we go, and a... Let's see, we can just do a stone transport pipe on top of this. And a teleport pipe on top of that pipe. Boom. So now let's receive at 100 true. And you should be receiving some peat shortly. Yes, we are. Sweet. Sweet Dinesh. Alright, so provider logistics pipe. Boom. And let's go ahead and connect... Oh no, that's going to pose a problem. Boom, so now that is connected, and it is supplying. And is it evenly supplying? I believe it is searching through the inventory, and it is saying, Hey, I have one piece of... Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, that almost ended very, very bad. But anyways, it's searching through the inventory and saying, Hey, I have one piece of peat, so don't send me any more. But I'm hoping that once it has, or once it is missing peat, it's going, hey, I need some peat. So you don't have any peat currently, but currently this chest does not have any peat either. So let's go ahead and chunk that in there. So now all of these should be getting peat rather quickly. And I believe all these engines will maintain themselves. So that is basically how you can set up a self-providing um, peat farm. So I'm going to actually show you how I can make some peat on its own um, at the farm and it will be transported into the system over there supplying the engines. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy what I do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button. The subscribe button is mostly for you, but it does make me look pretty dang awesome. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, this has been PG Mining 10. I will see you next time. Peace.